that doesn't mix. No, that doesn't mix. All right, let's uh, cut. I wanted to do like a quick get ready with me um, just to show you how I would usually get ready and how I would start my morning and then throughout the video I'll just be vlogging what I would do regularly um, throughout my day. Now I might actually split this in half um, because it's going to be a long day and I have a, a day tonight. But he pissed me off, so I'm kind of mad at him. So hopefully, you know, the day goes well. But I'm gonna split this vlog in half. So right now, I'm showing you like my skincare, and then I'll so I'm prepping my face to do my makeup, and then you know, I'll take you along with me throughout the day of what I'd be doing today. Like my errands, basically my regular errands. Like I gotta do groceries today and I have to go grocery shopping because I did not, I did not do it yesterday. And I was supposed to do it yesterday, but I was so exhausted. So I forgot, or let's just say I was just too lazy to do it. And now I'm starving. I'm gonna breakfast. So now I have to order breakfast. Or just like I can either order breakfast or I can go to Starbucks. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to go to Starbucks or order breakfast. I haven't figured that out yet. But I'm either gonna do either or, and then I'm gonna go grocery shopping and I might might do a little bit of shopping. Maybe not. I don't know. It's if, it, it depends on how I feel. But I'm definitely gonna be running errands today. I definitely gotta get my eyebrows waxed. I mean, they don't look bad, but I feel like I just have to get them waxed. Just like more, I want, I like more of a cleaner look, and I feel like they're not really all that clean. I want them to be shaped a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being picky. I don't know. I don't know I'm thinking. Yeah. So um, right now I'm just using well, I'm put it my eye. the Belief eye cream under eye cream to moisturize my eye. I like to use a generous amount of this just to get it moisturized under my eye because I like to put concealer and stuff underneath there. And so I use that. And then I use my Estee Lauder like night cream. It's like a night cream, so it's called. It's a Supreme Night Cream Intensive Restoring, Restoring Cream. It's really thick and it's moisturizing for my skin. I use too much of it. I know you're not supposed to use a lot of the Estee Lauder stuff. I'm only supposed to use like a pea size or a dime size. You're supposed to like, but that doesn't, that doesn't work. You're supposed to just pat it onto your face. That doesn't work for me. I have combinated skin, as you guys might know, unless you're new here and you're just seeing me for the first time. I have combination. I have combination, combination skin. So, oily T zone. Everything else is good. So that's a little annoying sometimes. And then I'm just gonna use my Estee Lauder. My day wear, and that has like sunscreen and stuff in it. Although I don't necessarily need it because my foundation has sunscreen in it as well. But I heard the foundations that usually have sunscreen in them don't actually have the sunscreen that they say they have in it, their foundation. So just to be extra safe, I'm gonna rub that in a little bit and then pat that in. Get that sunscreen in there because it's very important to wear sunscreen. This is how my skin's looking right now. It's not too bad. Considering that it's that time of the month. 
but um, I was going to have to deal with these dark spots. It happens. So I went in with my moisturizers. Now I'm going to try this for the first time in a long time. Um, I'm going to use the Fenty Mattifying Primer. I haven't used this in a really long time, as you can tell. Like, I have not used this in a long time. I used to use it a lot. But I haven't used it in a long time. And I just don't... I like to stay on routine because I don't want my skin to break out. I like to stay on routine where I know that... Okay, the likelihood of my skin breaking out because of this is little to none but I don't know hopefully my skin won't break out from this but I just want to try using a primer on my face to just see if my foundation will last longer because I'm using this new foundation the bare mineral one the newest one that they came out with the original liquid mineral foundation but this is the newer one I guess and it actually has they're advertising it right now so it's the newest edition in there this is kind of cool I thought this was cool this is how the top works and you just squirt it Let me make sure I rub that primer before I even apply this makeup yeah I did a good job okay. so we're gonna try that we the Fendi mat the Fenty mattifying primer we tried that already so we're gonna try this I'm just gonna put like a little bit that's probably all I'll need and then I have a damp my uh, my damp elf beauty blender that I just cleaned because I'm lazy and I forget to clean my beauty blender sometimes so I end up doing it last minute so anyways I'm just patting this in and I'm just gonna work this in or whatever and as I go along I'll just tell you what it is that I'm doing but yeah, I just wanted to do this video because I wanted you guys to see a little bit into like what I do, my day to day maybe, um, just be a little bit more open with my viewers I guess, so that they see a little bit more into my life. Um, I've been super, super, super busy. Um, if you don't know, I actually graduated recently, but when I graduated, it was like COVID hit and everything, so I didn't get to walk across the stage or whatever. And I just, I just was like so down about that whole COVID situation, the fact that I didn't have to get to walk across the stage, but I was also super happy that I graduated or whatever and I'm just like whew that's over because believe it or not like school is not really my thing um I can't like I just can't and school is not for everybody but I just can't see the point in like just struggling and doing this and that for a college degree that may or may not get you a job you know like it may or may not, there's no guarantee um, at all with going to school, you know? There's no guarantee that you're going to get a job as soon as you finish. There's no guarantee that, you know, you're even going to use that, you know? So, you're going to use the degree that you went to school for. So, I just think that school is beneficial. Don't get me wrong, school is beneficial, but... Um, I guess everybody has to know their limits and what works for them. There's people that actually enjoy going to school and they love that. But me, I'm just, I'm not, like, I felt like it was great. I got that out the way. I went to school for something that I thought I would want to go to school for. Uh, I thought I wanted to go to school for. Um, what I originally went to school for, I didn't even end up doing originally. So that was kind of a bummer. And I was really passionate about that. But I ended up switching my major. And that's fine, you know, it still worked out. I still got something um, in the medical field. So, I mean, it worked. It worked, but it was just a lot of stress and stuff along the way, and I just don't feel like it's worth it if it's <clears throat> so stressful 
um, going to school and like struggling the way that you struggle. You shouldn't have to struggle if you're trying to go to school and better yourself. That's how I feel about the whole situation. Now, I don't know if I wanted to use my Becca for concealer or my Born This Way. I think I'm gonna use my Born This Way in Maple. Yeah, not Chestnut, in Maple. And I'm just gonna put that under my eye. But yeah, this is gonna be really quick. I just wanted to talk to you guys and tell you guys like where I'm at in life right now and how I kind of got here. So, life's, life's been pretty hectic. Um, not, it's, things are still kind of crazy right now because nothing's really open or whatever, but my birthday is coming up and I'm super excited, but then again, I'm sad because I'm like, what am I gonna do for my birthday? Now, I want to travel. But I'm just like, I don't know if it's going to be, I don't know where I'm going to go. So I'm still trying to figure that out. But I definitely want to travel and just like go somewhere. The last place I went was Canada. Um, and that was fun and all, but I want to travel. Like, I want to travel. I'm like, I'm tired now. I'm like, COVID hit. I couldn't, you know, walk the stage and do that. And that was discouraging. And then I, but recently though, I will say there's a lot of good things that happened. Um, I wouldn't tell you, I'm not gonna tell you everything, but I'll tell you that I recently um, got a job and I got a job for um, pay that I actually want to work for. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like you get, you know when you get a job and you're getting paid, but you're like, uh, I don't know if it's worth it, but there's days when I do still feel like, dang, I don't know if it's worth it, you know, when I'm coming to work. But then I'm like, you know what? Then you get, then I get that paycheck every week, or I get that direct deposit. Let me say direct deposit every week, and I'm like, you know what? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, so that's how I feel. And I honestly, I was just like, I'm like, thank God we get paid every week. That's all I gotta say because it's it can be stressful. Work can be very stressful, and you have to deal with people that, you know, stress you out, like, <laughs> that stress you out. Okay, this, this is, like, okay, but it's not, I don't know if you can tell, but it's, it's, it's coverage, but it's not the coverage that I'm looking for, so I'm just gonna go in with, don't want to roll my finger, I kind of don't want to roll my finger, I'm just gonna grab a brush, and then put a little bit of mattifying concealer under my eye. I feel like I've, seriously, living in the city, I swear. I feel like I've gone through a lot of emotions. Like ever since COVID hit, like so many things changed. Like some of the people that I used to hang around, I don't even hang around no more. Like I cut some people off, like, you know, because like I've been going through my own struggles and part of those struggles is like figuring out how to get out of you know how to get basically how to get to where I want to be right now and the I have goals and stuff that I want to achieve but I feel like part of the reason why I was kind of stuck is because I was hanging around um, people that I was just like stuck. Like they were stuck in their own stupid ways. Yeah, that's a lot better. The coverage is a lot better. I just don't want it to crease under my eye because we don't want any creasing. Hopefully, it won't crease. But I was dealing with people that was just like stuck in their own crap, and you know I enjoy having friends but i don't enjoy having friends that don't like know what they want like you know what i'm saying and i felt like because they didn't know what they wanted i also at the time didn't know what i wanted as well well not what i wanted but i was stuck in my own way so they were stuck in their own way as well and i also cut off a friend that was like i just feel like she wasn't going anywhere like you just gotta cut off people that you feel like aren't 
doing anything with your life or don't want to get out of a situation that you feel is not or shouldn't be like permanent you know like oh is it what do you see that i've never seen that happen before it's just it's moving it's <sighs> wow that's not good okay well that 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 doesn't mix no that doesn't mix all right let's cut and we're back so i think i made the mistake of just putting setting powder there I think I'm just gonna put the matte concealer over it and I'm just gonna let the matte concealer do its thing. I honestly never seen the concealer do that before, but I think I think it actually might be because of my primer. Cause I've never seen it do that before, but it's actually matte under my eye already. Like I've never seen that product react like that. Usually when I put it on my face, usually when I put it on my face, it still looks, you know, oily but dang i guess maybe it was the primer that i put on and that's how i don't know that was weird i've never seen the um i got the nars mattifying cream the mattifying concealer cream that's what i put under my eye to give me full coverage and it just was moving around once i put the <clears throat> the laura mercier setting powder on so I don't know, but that was really weird. And guys, I will put everything that I'm using on my face below in the description box so that you know if you're interested in recreating this look or you wanna use any other items that I used. I'll put the color that I used and the brand that I used below in the description box. But yeah, so I just feel like I wanna be around people that are like about something that want to do something with their life or progress in life i can't be around people that don't want to progress in life i just can't like it's just annoying to me that people think it's okay to that people think it's okay to just like be stuck you know like i don't i don't think you know and i i get annoyed with people i'm using the the lord mercier setting powder to set the rest of my face i'm just avoiding my under eye because you know it's already set but i won't avoid my nose because that's my body i'm gonna reverse contour my nose and yeah, I'm just tired of dealing with or being around. I just don't want to be around anybody that's not sure of what they necessarily, I wouldn't say not sure of what they necessarily want, but just don't want it or want to progress in life. Like I want to be around people that want to progress in life. And that's that. I don't want to be around dumb people yeah, you can still so this is natural makeup you can still kind of see my blemishes or whatever i could i know i set my face already but i could just dab some some matte concealer on just like a little bit to kind of cover up those acne scars hopefully it'll blend in and it is blending in it's not it's concealing it more because the foundation that I'm using is, it's sheer. It's pretty sheer and then more natural foundation, which I would use every day. I like it so far, so it's working for me. Now I'm gonna go in with my Beverly Hills Anastasia Clear Brow Gel for my brows. Although I'm gonna get my brows done today, I still want them to look decent. It look like they, something's been done to them. But yeah, so. I just feel like I want to be around people that want to do something, to be something, or are successful in life, or 
are working towards that. And that's the only people that I want to surround myself with. And that are, that is the people that I surround myself with now. Should I say that? That's the type of people that I surround myself with now. People that are doing something with their life, want to do better with their life, etc. Now before, I was not. I was dealing with people that um, weren't really like maybe didn't know like you know it was just like they were dealing with their own stuff and everybody's dealing with their own stuff or whatever but i want people that are like dealing with their own stuff but they know how to deal with their own stuff and they're not sitting there complaining about how they want this and they want that but when you sit there and give them advice on how to get it they don't take it and they complain and complain and complain and complain and complain or just people that are just okay with the beer minimum I don't really, I don't like that. So I changed my friends. I changed, I'm still working on like myself or whatever. I got to the point where it was like, okay, I need a therapist so I could talk to somebody. Because I was so discouraged. I got so discouraged um, to the point where I was like, okay, I need a therapist. Like, I need somebody that I could talk to that um, I don't know that's getting paid to listen to me and hear what I have to say and encourage me and that's what I need I need outside encouragement and that's exactly what I got like me and my therapist are like really tight now she's like don't forget to book uh, your next appointment don't forget I really want to hear from you I want to see how you're doing I know you're gonna do great like you didn't come this far to just like give up because life can be so so hard sometimes you just feel like giving up like there's there'll be one thing after another thing after another thing after another thing and you're just like dang i've been through the ringer to the point where you're just like i don't even want to do this anymore like i just want to just lay in bed and never freaking leave the house like the life can do it to you like life can really do it to you and i was just like in a tough spot where i was just like this is not working like i'm trying my best to get what i need to get done and like some days are gonna be harder than others like you have to understand like this is life like life is not nothing is easy really easy to come by you know so I'm sitting here and I'm just like, you know what? It could be so much worse. It could be so much worse. But you know what? It's not. And thank God for that. So, I'm going to mix my Dolce Vanna by NARS. Dolce Vanna um, blush and my Orgasm X blush. This is a sampler, by the way. But I'm gonna mix these together. I kind of like my Dolce Vita. No, it's Dolce Vita. That's the same one this whole time. I don't remember. I'm using the same brush I used to apply my powder. I'm gonna use that same brush. And I'm just gonna put the Dolce Vita on. I like this one better because it's like almost like you don't even have anything on your face. But with this orgasm though, whew, you gotta be cute. This is me adding up for us right now. But, I mean, yeah, I am. Um... Let me see. that's what I've been doing I'm trying to I've improved my who I surround myself with now I just feel like I have to improve my environment like I just want better for myself and that's what I've been kind of working on lately it's just like trying to move and like get somewhere where I feel more comfortable and I feel more you know, at ease. What in the heck? Did I put blush all the way down there like that? I could still fix that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I fixed it. 
and that's what I've been working on doing is just like getting to a place or just moving and getting out of here like this is old like this was okay to begin with it was okay to start with but I need a new surrounding I need a new environment I need to be somewhere where I feel more comfortable and this ain't it like I'm better than at this point I've outgrown where I live <laughs> and I'm like I'm ready for like a new surrounding like a better apartment not loud neighbors or kids running through the hall like i'm over that so that's what i'm working towards and i'm pretty dang sure for a fact that i'll be able to do that before the end of the year um and that'll be something that i'm really looking forward to because that i also can vlog with you guys as well my hair is kind of crazy my hair is wavy a little bit bent up like not straight in certain areas like what the heck my hair is crazy because i clipped it and i just left it like i just clip it clip it up i just sting it up and clip it and then i just leave it it's like curly i guess the keratin treatment is kind of wearing off but i've been washing my hair like i can't like i have to wash my hair you know i can only not wash my hair for so long so it feels so good when I brush it. This is how it looks. I guess I'm just gonna go with this look today. And another thing that that happened in my life and that's new to me actually is that I actually wear contacts now. So I wear contacts because my vision is not 2020 anymore. Yay! <laughs> Now I have to get glasses, and I'm not looking forward to that too, but I have to get glasses on top of my contacts that I got. And um, yeah, so that's the update of my life. I have really bad stigmatism at night. Well, it's not super bad, I can still see, but the light from like the cars and stuff give me a headache, and like one eye is better than the other one, and it's like, okay. I guess I'll just do the glasses and the contacts because when the doctor was telling me, she was like, oh, listen, you can have contacts. That's great. And hopefully it works out for you. But there's going to be times when you, your eyes are going to need a break. And it's just like, ugh. like the thought of that is annoying to me. It's annoying to me. Just the thought of wearing glasses. It's like I've never worn glasses in my life. Now I'm trying to figure out if I want to do mascara or if I want to do lashes. That's another thing. Usually I don't do lashes, but I haven't did lashes in a bunch of days. Like, because I, I just don't feel like I have time or I just don't want to. It's not really necessary. It's more of like, should I do it because I want to? Or... So I think I'm going to leave the lashes for later on tonight. And I'm just gonna use my lash curlers right here. It's like crazy up here. And I'm just gonna curl my lashes and I'm just gonna put some mascara on them and go about my day. And then later on tonight, if I want to, I can put on some lashes if I choose to do so. But you know what? Actually, I went to NARS. I mean, I went to NARS. <laughs> I went to Sephora and I got the NARS mascara. So let me try that, actually. I have yet to open it because I just got it, actually. So I'm just going to try that. Ooh, and this was the... This was a, this is a liquid pencil because I was looking at the other eyeliners. I was like, no can do. I need something liquid, and I hope that it works. <laughs> that was my main thing. Like, ooh, I hope this thing like is really good. But it looked like it was good, so that's why I'm taking a chance with it. And let me see, just in case I get a mirror that's really close up. So yeah, that's like a brief, quick run through. 
of like what's going on in my life right now, where I'm at. I'm in a good place. I have my rough days or whatever, but I really have goals that I want to meet as far as YouTube for this year. Definitely have goals for YouTube that I want to meet, and I definitely have goals for um, just improving my surroundings and being in a place where I feel comfortable where I can call home. So, oh no, my lid is creasing. This always happens. Um, this Beer Mineral Foundation is great, but like I always find my lids creasing for some reason and I don't know why. And that's really annoying to me. They'll crease literally for no reason. And sometimes I would actually set my eye and it will still it will just still settle and my eye creases and I don't know why it's really strange I've never had that happen before where the foundation settles in my crease like that and stays in my crease but I'm using my setting powder from Warmer CA to just like blend that crease out and so it's not sitting there looking like a bunch of like that's just a nasty look to me that just looks disgusting like first of all people can tell you got makeup on <laughs> i think i should kind of avoid my eyes when putting on the makeup and not put too much um makeup near my eye just like a tiny bit i guess but it's just really strange that the the makeup does that and then it's kind of like weird it's getting like powdery I don't know it's kind of strange like you see I don't know if you can see it but it's kind of powder like now because I put the foundation there I mean the, um, not the foundation the setting powder so I'm just gonna go in and do a little do a little wing I like how it's like a pen, so like a pencil, pencil. Okay, let's see if we can get this side to look exactly the same. Okay, so now that you've seen me, I might cut out some of this because that took forever to do my eyeliner. I mean, yeah, my eyeliner. Yeah, my eyeliner. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do my mascara and then I'm gonna head out. So, this is my outfit. It's pretty nice today. And that's about it. I'm gonna run out, do my earrings. I'll see you in a little bit.